Welcome to Season Your Words and Food with Grace. I'm here with another meal. So I made a, a, a blackened <laughs> red snapper. Um, last time I had got a red snapper fish, it was real, real meaty. So this time I had got a smaller one. And what I did, I just blackened it with the seasoning real good. And um, if you go to my YouTube, you'll see how I cooked it. But it hasn't been uploaded. Give me about a few minutes. Also, my asparagus with my toasted almonds and toasted garlic. My spaghetti that I made with my own spaghetti sauce and my bread with butter. <laughs> Bless it, Lord. So, anyhow, I'm hungry. And this blackened fish I already tastes the piece. It's the bomb. So, I am fell in love with red snapper. Now, I don't keep the head on mine like a lot of people do. Uh, I don't keep the head on. <laughs> I have to take the head and the eyeballs off. Mm. Bless the Lord. This is asparagus. Mm. You know, if you're trying to eat healthy, Some things that you could, you could eliminate a lot of calories. Like a lot of people do it with their bacon. They wrap their bacon and all of that. I don't even see how they would even like that like that. This is so good. Just with a little butter, your garlic, let your garlic get a little toasted. You put your asparagus in. But go to my YouTube. You'll see how I cook it. Mm-hmm. Yes, precious. I was getting ready to. So, this is good. With my homemade sauce, I didn't guess I could not have no jars, no cans, no I have to make mine myself with whole good ripe tomatoes. Oh, it just takes it to another level. And no meat. I do not like meat in my uh, spaghetti now. Mm. I have a blackened red snapper fish. I cook. It is so good. It's so flavorful. That 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 blackened seasoning. Oh. And there's so many different kind of blackened seasoning out there. So you covered. I covered it completely. And I let it the oil, my little olive oil. All right. A lot of people may put butter in there. I don't. And actually, this is real good with just a little olive oil. Get that skillet good and hot. No cornmeal, no kind of meal or flour, anything on it. It just covers so with the black and sauce. But if you go to my YouTube, you'll see how I did it. Yeah, it's good. You don't have to put butter with it. it, it it's a good taste itself. A lot of calories we really don't need. And you really could omit it, and your food would still come out banging. So, this is good. As much as I love hot sauce, I don't need no hot sauce on it. Mmm. Mm. 
She's off. Wait. My butter bread. I should have got a bigger piece of that bread. Mmm. And then red snappers, they usually be like seven or eight dollars a pound. But somehow I've been catching it on sale for like four dollars a summer pound. Every snapper is fire, y'all. It's fire. Yes. Mm. This red snap is fire. I'm not kidding. It's on point. And my spaghetti sauce, I make, when I get a whole lot of tomatoes, I just make my sauce up and put them in separate bags and freeze them. So when I'm ready for it, just pull that sauce out. Oh, that sauce was so good. I was, I'm telling you, <laughs> I was eating it. I was eating it before I even put it to the spaghetti. I like fresh food. And that tomato got a freshness to it. I, I'm telling you, I can't, I, can, I cannot Go back to no cans or no jars of sauce. Mm -hmm. I love my asparagus. Mm. Lord have mercy. With the toasted garlic and toasted almonds. Oh, God. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. Mm. And like I said, you don't have to put a lot of calories in your food. You don't have to put so much different stuff. Like I said, my spaghetti is made with my yarn. Whole tomatoes, my blackened fish, the way I cooked it, a little olive oil, no flour, just the blackened seasoning all on it, no butter in the skillet. I know a lot of people use a lot of butter and stuff in it, but that's some things you can omit and still come out with a delicious meal. The asparagus with my, uh, I use like one teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon, one teaspoon. Um, of um, butter in there with my garlic. I use about a spoonful of bar uh, garlic, minced garlic. But if you go to my YouTube, you'll see how I cooked it. Mm. I don't know if a lot of people eat red snapper. Mmm. But that blackened seasoning on there, it is so good. And it got my fish so crispy. It's, I know it looks like it's burnt, but it's not burnt. It's that blackened season. But it is so, you see that meat? Look at this meat. Look, you see that meat? Yeah. And all of this is that blackened seasoning. It's fat, y'all. It's fat. It's seasoned to the T. <laughs> Wakanda technology. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> hey, girl.
Mmm. Mmm. There's so fire, y'all. If you're not into red snapper fish, I need you to try it at least. Now, they do have bones like them buffalo, but you will watch out for them. It is good, honey. Thank you, baby. It's fine. My homemade spaghetti. I mix my own sauce with whole ripened tomato, my asparagus with my toasted almond, toasted garlic. And I think people would say because it's garlic. I don't like garlic like that. When garlic is cooking, it takes it to another level. The aroma, the fragrance of it is an OMG. And the taste of it is like a nutty kind of taste. It is so good. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. Now, my um, red snapper, this time I said... I wanted to grill it, but I didn't get a chance to. Baby, I throwed it on that stove. <laughs> it's fire. Yes, it is. It's good for you. But a lot of people don't like to just cook with it because the the um, smell of it. But it's different when it's cooking. It's different. Mmm. I love the crispy man. Mm-mm. And asparagus, y'all. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I love the asparagus. I love asparagus the only way that I cook it though. You know, I don't like it wrapped in bacon and all of that. I ain't into all of that. Mm. Mm. Hmm. This is a dinner. This is a saved and sanctified dinner. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This black and fish is on point. <laughs> this spaghetti sauce is on point. The asparagus is on point. Remember? This is one of those thank you, Jesus, hallelujah meal. It's just right. It's right. Look at that. Look at that meat. Ooh. And see, this time I got a smaller one. The smallest one that they had, I got it. Of the red snapper. Because it be so meaty. The other one I had, oh God, it was so meaty. I'm just, even though this is fish, I don't like a lot of meat. Look at here. Go ahead. Y'all need to taste this. Y'all need to taste it. Mmm. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. So. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, God. And it's seasoned. Like I said, it's so many blackened. 
blackened seasoning out there. So the choice is yours. Whichever kind you want. I was going to show you mines that I used. But whatever choice of um, blackened seasoning you would like. Mm. My bread. Mm. You want a piece of serenity? You want to taste it? No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. She don't like stuff that's healthy for you. Everything. Chicken sandwich from Papa. Y'all, this is bad. Thank y'all that's watching. Comment or share. Like this page. Subscribe to my YouTube. This is good. Woo! There you go. This is black and red snapper. Mm. My God, my God. Mm -hmm. I need almonds with this here. Asparagus. Spaghetti caught up in that almond. Mm. Meals like this. It helps you to stay full. Yeah. You know, when you just go and eat a little of this, you know, like a fast food stuff, later on you be hungry again. Stuff like this sticks to you. If, if y'all could taste my spaghetti sauce, it's fat. H2O. Hmm. That's so good. All of it. You know, sometimes you be to cook something and it didn't quite turn out the way you wanted it to. Some cook good, something didn't. This was perfection, y'all. <laughs> perfection. Mmm. So good. You know this fish is good if I don't put no hot sauce on it. I don't care how good fish is, I, I still will put my hot sauce, but this is so good. That blackened, sorry, that blackened seasoning is fire. Even if you don't eat red snapper, Whatever kind of fish, try to do that black and see how I cooked it. On YouTube. Hey, Rachel. I got a red snapper. Blacking seasoning. It is so good. 
OMG. It is so good, y'all. Like I said, some things you could cook and omit all of that cal extra calories and unnecessary stuff that you still have an awesome meal. This is so awesome. I would put this meal up against anybody's. This is this is fire. This is fire. Hold on. Now when my nose run. I don't like to do it in the camera. I know it was that. I was doing all that bending over and still seeing that I was in the camera. I'm like, Lord, help. Mmm. This is so good. And yes, I'm full. And this probably, most likely, will be my last meal for today. I'm trying to get that piece of skin up. I love that crispiness. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is good, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. So flavorful. And you know one thing? When I put that black and season on, I let it set and marinate on it, get all through it. And you split your back, but again, it's going to be on YouTube, how I cooked it. And so when you don't just fry it like in a lot of oil and cornmeal and all that on it, so I don't do that. So you could taste the seasoning. You could taste the fish and the seasoning, and it's fire. It's fire. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Now y'all know them tails. Mm. I like all the seasoning and the crispiness. Oh God! <laughs> that seasoning. Red snapper is the bomb. That's why they cost so much. Mm -hmm. That was good, y'all. That was fat. Mm. Trying to get these little pieces that got skin on it. Mmm. Mmm. That was good. That was so good. Mm. 
This was truly a meal. Mm. It's by y'all. Woo! So good. Excuse me. So I'm down to my last asparagus. Woo! With my toasted almonds and toasted garlic. Now this is a meal. They didn't use a lot of extra stuff. <clears throat> My spaghetti sauce is made with real whole tomatoes, ripe tomatoes. My red snapper fish. The only thing I put on there was the blackened seasoning. I cooked it in a little olive oil in a pan. No flour, no cornmeal, no butter. My asparagus, I put like a like a little uh, teaspoon. You know what? It probably wasn't even a good teaspoon. A butter in the pan. Um, a spoonful of garlic, minced garlic. Um, my asparagus. Then I put my um, what is it? <laughs> Almonds. And a little of my seasoning, no salt, and pepper. And there you go. So, this meal was so far, y'all. And it filled me up. I think I'm getting old. But back in the day, ain't no way I eat this stuff. It's so good, y'all. But if you notice, the last time we say we'll say, oh, it's nasty. I wouldn't eat that stuff. It's because we never really taste it. And that was a lot of me. I never really taste it. And then whatever you cook, remember, put you in it. You. What you like. You know, you see different ones, how they cook. You may get recipes, but always put you in it. Put what your taste buds like, you know, and that, that's how you come up with some awesome food because you put what you like in it. Put you in it. If you understand what I'm saying, put you in your food when you're cooking, put you in it. And I tell you, watch your meals elevate. It just... It just elevate. So you take out what you don't like and you put in what you do like. Put you in it. Stuff that you like. Stuff that make you say, hmm, okay. You know. So, but um, yeah. So, but thank y'all for stopping by. Thank y'all for visiting. Liking, comment, share. Like my page. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already. My last asparagus. I thank God for that meal. That meal was the bomb. When I say it was good and filling, it was good and filling. So until next time, thank y'all for stopping by. Season your words. Don't forget, season your words. One thing I thought about today as I was striving, because I had made mention before about um, ordering online. I I I I just don't want to ever order online again. It it makes me it makes me have to. Really like, like Jesus help me. <laughs> you know how you be, you go from one to ten. 
uh, online. I just can't shop online. I, I, I can't do that. That's, that's not me. That's not my calling. That's not in me because it aggravates me. And so this one package, I went way out to pick up. Yeah, they sent me something wrong. So all my way back home, I was thinking about how to do this and everything that I was going to be doing and what I was going to say. And I'm not lying to y'all. The Holy Ghost said, season your words with grace. Well, of course, I'm not doing this, y'all. I was doing this. And the Holy Ghost, like, season your words. Even though it's not coming here, it's coming here. I still had to season what I write out to them with grace. And I feel, okay, okay, I calmed down. I really did. I promise I calmed down. But by the time I made it to the house and I got my um, iPad and my phone. So to um, get in touch with them, because, you know, and these websites, they don't like to give you numbers. Everything is contact us, you know, and, you know. So I'm trying to find out how can I contact them, right? So I'm getting heated for one thing again because I, I can't find no number. So then they said email. So the email went somewhere else. So anyway, I finally got hold to where I can communicate to them. And um, as I was the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I had to be so nice. Yes, I did. What I wanted to say, and then when they said, did, did we fix this for you? I wanted to get smart so bad. And I just said, what did I say? No, something they asked me, and I said, they said, um, I hope this fixed it for you, something like that. And I said, okay. Yeah, it, it was it. Then I said, okay, like, goodbye. I, the chat was through. And I'm like, Lord, thank you. For one thing, my blood pressure didn't go up. I, I, I spoke. When I'm doing this, it's like typing it in. I spoke with grace. And my problem got rectified. They sent me my money back. So I didn't have to get out of character. I didn't have to let Cynthia come back alive. <laughs> so make sure you season your words or this here, whichever way, whether you text it or typing it in, let it be seasoned with grace. And above all, season your food with grace. That food was the bomb. I'm telling you, it was the bomb. So until next time, thank you so much. I always remember, have love in your heart. Have so much love in your heart that you have no room for hate. Have so much forgiveness in your heart that you have no room for unforgiveness. Until next time, y'all have a blessed day. Love you.